Hi, welcome in. This is uh, the same author that we've uh, seen before, Louis Giglio, but a new book that I just found at Holly, Hobby Lobby here in Sierra Vista, Arizona. I can't wait to read it to you. Number one, a blank page. In the beginning, God created the sky and the earth. The earth was empty and had no form. Then God said, let there be light. Genesis 1, 1 to 3. Every picture and story starts with a blank page. Nothing is on it, and it's yours to do anything with it. That's exactly what happened when God sat down to create earth, the universe, and everything in it. He started with a blank page. Well, actually, there wasn't even a page, just darkness and nothing. And God, too, of course. Then he started to create, and it was exactly what he wanted. The planets spun into space, stars stretched across the heavens, and galaxy upon galaxy swirled out into the universe. All throughout the universe and here on the earth, God shows his creativity to be indescribably, incredibly amazing. Who else could think up the spotted, long-necked giraffe? Who else could put the roar in a lion's mouth and the purr in a kitten's tummy? Who else could think up stick bugs, sloths, leafy sea dragons, platypuses, or colorful mantis shrimp? Seriously, you need to check these guys out. They're unbelievable. God is infinitely creative. That means his creativity has no end. And God shows his creativity in you. You began as a blank page in his book, and he began writing your story before you were even born. It's going to be a great one. Don't believe it? Just check out some of the amazing stories he's already written for ordinary people just like you. David knocking out Goliath, Daniel napping with lions, and Esther saving her people. God's got an amazing story in the works for you. Just wait and see. Lord, the whole universe shows your creativity. I trust that you're creating a wonderful story for me. Be amazed. Sloths are so slow that they move only about six and a half feet per minute. Even their tummies are slow, taking an average of 16 days to digest the twigs, fruits, leaves, bugs, lizards, and birds they eat. They spend almost their entire lives hanging upside down in the trees, coming down only once a week or so to poop. Ick. <laughs> what a great story here. Well, have a great day now. Thanks for stopping by.